So that one guy got alar alarmed somehow. I don't even know how he got alarmed, but he called. Well, I don't know if he called, but the two from downstairs came up, and I'm pretty sure there's one or one or two more downstairs. But here I just run. Actually, no. There's yeah. There's one more downstairs, but here I think a. I think I just run, and I don't think I take any of those guys out. Because I saw them all the way down there, and I was like, hmm, alright, might as well just jump over. Hit again, but one one shot won't do too much damage to me. So uh, I felt alright. Now I'm going on up. Um, yeah, I think those are the last enemies I fight until, like, the mini-boss, I guess you would call. That, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. And I'll let you guys watch this because I think you guys would enjoy it. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. You didn't want to hurt anyone. You should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look. Seraph's attack dog. You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up. All you body polluters break the laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of Cholo. those freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hatter. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, I gotta check this out. So me and la vieja, we're leaving. Me and la vieja. You know I can't let you go with her. Alright, and so here I actually try and oops. I save the hostage and I also let him go. I haven't actually killed him yet. Uh, maybe next playthrough I will. But both both times that I've played this, I let him go, and he gives you a little something something later on um, for letting him go and whatnot. And then you come across him one more time after that. So, this isn't the last time we'll see this guy. That is pretty screwed up. Hey, stop playing with that cat. You're doing better than you think. Hey, you're in the way. Standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. Maybe. <laughs> you got you get a point. There. Why are you sitting on my arm, cat? The only thing the cops are focused on is their safety. Yeah. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too Not really. To worry about you. Maybe later on I will augment my speech, but honestly, it didn't really help me all that much because I did that in my first playthrough. And it was nice and all, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm done talking here. Not very nice. Then I think this is the last choice you have with this guy. I think so. And then I think he either decides to take him or take her with him or he just leaves or you kill him or something. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Right. Damn. Damn. You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. 
I thought I had to here, but I can't afford you, can I? Nope. Go on, get out of here. You're free. Alright, so she's safe and I am letting him go. So he will come back later on in the game. But that it's not for a while. Probably a couple more. Probably about seven more videos until he comes in for the first time and then probably not like 20 until no more than 20 until I see him again after that so now that basically wraps up that first mission uh, I'm gonna show you guys kinda what happens after this like with talking and whatnot um, this lady was is a husband of that one guy in the hostage room so talk to her here and then outside you will talk to her her husband if you save him and he is going to be coming in contact with me later and giving me something I don't even know what because I haven't actually uh, the first time I played I haven't or I didn't save the hostages because I just didn't find them as I said earlier but he said that he will be in contact with me about something I don't know what or anything like that so we shall see we shall see I know I am so that's basically all um, I got another praxis point and I put it on uh, I think I do it to destroy walls I'm pretty sure pretty sure at least because all these other things they take two I thought about getting hacked too but I don't need it right now I'll need it soon though uh, you definitely want to have the hack all the way to level 5 in my opinion just so that you can get around things easier um, but here's that lady's husband and he will talk to you about all that other stuff so the SWAT won't let him in because the other SWAT people have to talk to her about what happened and all that but I will reassure him that she's alright because I'm, I'm that good of a fellow and hold on 18 so that's alright yeah I got, I got time because I do have to leave pretty soon because I have football soon and I just wanted to record this and then um leave because I've got to but I got time cuz there's not really much else so <clears throat> basically all that happens is I talk to this chick she takes me back to Seraph Industries and she talks to me about what happened and all that stuff and then I think that's it she's proud of me very proud before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. And when they talk about Mexican town, um, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. It's probably, or no. I was gonna say that it was probably from a previous Deus Ex game, but I changed that because I don't think this guy is from any of the other ones. I think this is the third one in the series. I'm not exactly sure. I, this is the first one I've ever played. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back and play the other ones. We shall see. What are you doing, cat? So, yes. Here, another loading screen. And now we are back at Seraph Industries. A uh, little, little mini cutscene here of the helicopter flying in. And then Malik will talk to me for another couple of minutes. Probably two minutes or so and then then that's it so I think after this I'm going to um, I can't exactly remember where where to go after this I know I gotta go talk to uh, what's his name uh, oh god Frank what's uh, Pritchard that's it so I gotta go give Pritchard the typhoon and then I gotta go talk to Seraph after after that or before that I don't know I know one of them I need to do before the other. So, it's whatever. And right there, uh, she wasn't like being like, con not con yeah, condescending. I don't know why he freaked out or whatever. 
she was just asking and he flipped out on her. I don't know, he needs to take a chill pill. He needs to take a chill pill. So, uh, for some reason they wanted you to be kind of rude to her again, but I don't know. I, I didn't really feel like there was a need to do that, but whatever. It's all right. I don't really care. Sorry, I'm stretching my back because it's kind of sore right now. Oh, up. I'm tired also. I know, I need to get a good night's sleep tomorrow, though. Who knows, though? Who knows? Hey, stop playing with everything on my desk, cat. I mean, my golly. Just everything she has to touch, play with, or something. I, I don't know. She's a cat. What do you expect, though? You've got to get the typhoon in. Right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. All right, so that's basically it, and I will see you guys later.